Hi everybody, who's your prepping nurse? That's me, Sally. And today we are going to be cooking wheat berries. Most people know of them as something that you make flour out of and make bread with and other baked goods, but they are really good if you cook them as a breakfast cereal too. Uh, key is to, I'm gonna bring you around here a minute, is to soak them um, overnight in water. These have really puffed up. They were right below, actually probably right in the middle of where the R is at on this jar. Um, but you wanna soak them overnight, then he'll speed up the cooking time on it. And I'm gonna go rinse them and bring them back over. Hang on just a minute. One thing I should have told you is to save the water that they soaked in. It's really good for plants. Um, and I did do that, so my house plants will be getting some watering. These are actually the gold berries. They're prairie gold berries. Uh, they are chemical free. I got these at an Amish store, not too far from me, up at Shipshawana. It's from ENS Sales, and their prices are actually pretty good. This bag was a dollar sixty nine. It has been a couple months since I got it, so I don't know what the prices are now. But I did rinse these off. And I am going to go ahead and turn on my stove here to like a medium high. I'm putting three cups of water in it. And I'm going to go ahead and put the wheat berries in it. I'm going to bring it up to a boil, let it cook for about 20 minutes once it starts boiling. Uh, once it does start boiling, I'll put the lid on it and I will bring you back then whenever they're done. Okay, so the wheat berries are done. This is what they look like in the pan. And they are nice and soft. I did try one out already. So let me get this drained and get it dished up and then I will show so it. This is the next morning and of course the wheat berries are done. This is what they look like when they are fully cooked. They look like little puffed um, popcorn kernels. What I like to do, and I'm gonna try this. Someone else suggested adding just a little bit of sugar to them. I like them just as they are, but we're gonna give the sugar a try here. And I'm going to add some blackberries that I got. My local Myers had these on sale. They're huge. Look at those. 99 cents for six ounces. So I stocked up and I've got them in the freezer. And a little bit of oat milk. I did shake this up really well. This will help cool down. I did heat up the wheat berries in the microwave. Just took 40 seconds on the high. And mm, these are good. The blackberries are a good flavor. You can put any fruit in these. Or you can put the cooked ones, um, any extra that you have in soups, salads. They have just got, a, to me, a really nice texture. It is like, um, it's not really like cooked corn um, because this is just a tad firmer than that. You get a little pop. It kind of gives it that crunch if you like it. But I highly recommend this. Very healthy, nutritious uh, meal for breakfast. It's very filling. And I hope you will give it a try. And if you do, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Or if you have made it and what do you put on it. Everybody take care. Have a good day. Just keep moving forward and I'll catch you in the next video.